There's Hundi, Hamaya, and my favorite, Maisie, who is two weeks from giving birth to possibly four little baby golden retrievers. You would have seen videos of George DJ. Um, he's doing really well, he's getting lots of gigs, and Bristy and I went in, had a quick drink at Justin Lane to support prior to our adventure south to try the Italian at Tommy's, which was our first time, which was, it was average. It's not the best. It's got a very, very nice fit out. Like the, the actual place is really nice. The pasta was pretty shit. The zucchini, no, the eggplant parmigiana was good but it was something that you could probably just make at home. What we've come to realize is that it is definitely a location slash restaurant that you would go to purely for a Sunday afternoon drink and have platters, prosciutto, olives, bread, and burrata. They were the highlights of our meal, the entrees. I think we'll have to get the group and go for a Sunday afternoon long lunch. That sounds ideal. The last vlog, I had so much fun. And it was so enjoyable, I'm doing it again. Uh, it is something I thoroughly enjoy, especially looking back and reflecting and having a collection of, you know, videos and shit that I did, which is a vibe. Lots of news. Friday, I'm heading up to Noosa for my ultra. Saturday morning, I'm running it. Maisie is due to give birth Friday midday-ish. She only has a litter of four, possibly minimum of four. So gorgeous little puppies. I got into Bond Medical School, which I'm absolutely stoked about. So I'm very, very excited. There's a lot of things I'm looking forward to. Bond was pretty big for me because I moved to New Zealand two years ago to try and attempt to study medicine there. And I spent a year doing that course. I ended up coming back, got in, which was sick. Couldn't get back, took a year off, couldn't get back this year. So it was a bit frustrating that I've already done first year medicine and I couldn't get back to New Zealand, but I was able to nail getting into a course here, which is what I really wanted to do because I love the Gold Coast. I like New Zealand, but I probably couldn't have seen myself staying there for six years and beyond once the course was over. So today's been awesome. Got up 16K jog with James, coffee, beach. But now I am on a solo adventure to one of my absolutely favorite waterfalls and I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for people to spend time in nature. I'm not spiritual or anything. I absolutely love going to waterfalls and hiking and doing all that kind of stuff. So that's where I am at the moment. I'm out at Tally Creek. Uh, gonna go chase a waterfall. Also wish more people did shit on their own because you miss out on so much in life if you're constantly waiting for your friends to be free. My goodness. Also had to break out the dad shoes for the hike. Oh, it's honestly so pretty. Oh, this is just what I mean. Look how pretty this is. Oh, it gives me goosebumps. Part of me is trying to avoid being on my phone out here, but then Part of me is also like, you have to capture this because I think people often overestimate the power of our memory capabilities. I think it's worth capturing some stuff, but also being mindful not to be too distracted by your mobile device. It's about a 45 minute walk, which is vibes. 45 minute there, 45 minute back. I went to stand on that rock. Not great. It's that, oh, so pretty. No one was out here, like I said. Just me and the elements, and it's so peaceful. It's just incredible. I wish more people had a deep gratitude and a deep appreciation for how beautiful planet Earth can be. And again, I don't say that with a spiritual attitude. I say that from just a, Look around, look how fucking incredible it is. And I feel like that would just force people to be a bit more happier in life. I feel like if people spent more time in nature, they'd probably be a happier human.
5.30 in the morning. The sunrise is oh, spectacular now that we are entering autumn. So because I'm tapering, I've gotten Jess and Christy up to go for a walk and watch the sunrise, go for a swim, get a coffee. Susie! <laughs> How's your swim, Bristy? Splendid! It was very nice, wasn't it? Was it was actually so lovely. Very splendid. <laughs> Sushi on the beach, about to read. Great day. Zoom in on this. It's a vibe. Zoom in on this. Pan in on that. <laughs> this is what I'm reading. I have finished the other fiction book. Didn't take me long. I've nearly finished this one actually, I've been reading a fair bit. Ebony's just waving at me on the beach. Uh, every day I've probably been reading about an hour and a half, which has been ideal really, because as I mentioned in the previous video, I have been reading less because of the running. And I forgot how much I love reading. This book's on philosophy. Some of the things it touches on is the importance for not striving for wealth, but striving for connection, and that people that are wealthy it helps, but they tend to have a lot less happiness than those that are not because they lack some of the more fundamental things that provide happiness, i.e. connection, freedom, and health, things like that. So it's always lovely when you read something that you actually hold an opinion about and it might uh, articulate it in a different way. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. A lot of the videos you've probably seen have all been nature because the weather has just been incredible and I've been just spending a lot of time outside which is just an absolute vibe and I cannot emphasize the importance of spending time in nature whether that's waterfalls, the beach, going for runs, trail runs. Just get outside. <laughs>